Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The importance of preserving the heritage of Western Armenia. At the conference, the worship of God is Anahit. Medals and passports were handed out. 61 families supplied to find out the fate of their missing relatives. The sons of Western Armenia, Alan Hovanes. Hatred of Armenia and genocide of Armenians in Baku, 106 years later. Baku is a terrorist state. Baku destroyed cemetery in Drachtik. There are no names of the monarchs of Kingdom of Ararat, Mikhail Badalian. Peace conference in Xen province. On 15 September at the Double Tree by Hilton Hotel in Yerevan, a scientific conference was held entitled The Worship of the Goddess Anahit. At the start of the evening, Carmen Gabrahamian, the president of the National Council of Western Armenia, made an opening speech emphasizing the primary importance of preserving the historical and cultural heritage of Western Armenia. He particularly noted that the worship of Goddess Anahit continues its influence in Western Armenia and paid special attention to the deep and symbolic significance of the Holy Springs for the Armenians living there. At the end of the event, Mr. Abrahamian presented medals of honor to our honorable citizens and deputies from Western Armenia in appreciation of their patriotic feats, selfless work, and protection of national values. In addition, he granted citizenship to our compatriots displaced from Artsakh, solemnly handing over their passports of Western Armenia. This event was not only an important step in strengthening our historical relations with Western Armenia, but also emphasized the need to preserve the unbreakable relations between generations and the timeless value of our heritage. During the months of January, June 2024, we had about 708 calls and visits to our offices in Yerevan and Goris in connection with the separation of families as a result of the escalation of the conflict, informed the ICRC. 61 families turned to us with the request to find out the fate of their missing relatives and open search applications. 175 oral, audio and written Red Cross messages were exchanged between those imprisoned in connection with the conflict and their families. Moreover, the Red Cross regularly visits the detained persons, observing the condition of the imprisonment and their treatment, as well as contributing to maintaining their contact with their relatives. The message says, Alan Hovanes is a famous American-Armenian composer of classical music. As an original artist, he gained great fame in 20th century in America. Alan Hovanes was born in 1911 in Somerville, suburb of Boston, Massachusetts. His father was originally from the city of Adana in Kilika, and his mother was an American woman with Scottish roots. In the arena of American classical music, Alan Hovanes became famous for his compositional innovations. In addition to being exceptionally talented and creating hundreds of works, according to his word, he burned thousands of works himself. He is also known for the new introduction of Oriental melodies as a result of his Armenian heritage and the influence of his trips to India and Korea. 106 years ago in Baku, Armenians passed one of the darkest pages of their history. On 15 September 1918, Turkish Azerbaijani troops occupied Baku, where for three days Armenian massacre, violence and looting took place. The actual number of Armenians in Baku could exceed 100,000 and the details of the banner show that more than 30,000 Armenians were massacred and looted. This brutal attack was only the second after the massacre of 1905, but on a large scale. Since then, Armenian hatred has become part of Azerbaijan's state policy. In 1990, a massacre took place again in Baku and today in Karaman Shirvan and Nakhichevan. The Armenian cultural environment is under threat. History shows that past testimonies did not save Armenia, so concrete actions are needed to condemn both the events of 1988-1992 and the war crimes committed in Artsakh in 2020-2023. In 2022, on 14 September, Baku launched large-scale military operations on the 
territory of Artsakh, demonstrating that its policies share the principle of using military force, ignoring human rights and territorial integrity. Baku has always used such a dictatorial policy in its history, from the 1988 genocide in Sumgait to the massacres in Maragha in 1992, April War in 2016, 4040 Day War in 2020, September War in 2022, and the ethnic cleansing of Artsakh in 2023. These realities prove that Baku's behavior contradicts the fundamental principles of human rights. Therefore, the only effective way to struggle against Baku is to declare it as a terrorist state at the international level, with all the consequences defined by international law. The government of Shirman Nakhijev and Pan Armenian Union pays tribute to the memory of the soldiers who died for the defense of Armenia and demands an appropriate response from the international community against Azerbaijani aggression. In the occupied territories of Artsakh, Baku has begun to take accountability for the Armenian graves, destroying them, eliminating the Armenian trace. The Azerbaijani site completely destroyed the cemetery of the Rahtik village of Hadrut, region of Artsakh. The village came under the control of Azerbaijan during the 44-day war of 2020. From the satellite images obtained in 2023, it becomes clear that the cemetery has been completely destroyed. In addition, the prayer hall in the area of the cemetery, which was also destroyed, is artificially marked as a mosque on Google Earth. We know the following names of the monarchs of the Kingdom of Ararat, Taramu, Sarduri, Ishbuini, Menuhal, Inushpua, Argishti, Rusa, Melartua, Elimina. The patriomic of the so-called Sarduri, the first Lutipri, is also proven. However, Eurasian and Assyrian cuneiforms inscriptions testify that at least Rusa Sardorti and Rusa Nargishtorti of the Eurasian kings were also named differently. Thus, Rusa Sardorti calls himself Vedipri. We will talk about it in a separate report. Interestingly, one of the Assyrian kings, Isara Haddon, in one of his messages to the sun god Shamash, asks if Rusa, whom they call Yaya, will attack Shipru. In other words, Rusa Argistor II was called Yaya. Here we are visually talk about Isar Haddon's contemporary Rusa Argisturdu, who was one of the last powerful rulers of the Ararat kingdom. This report proves that the kings of the Ararat country could have a nickname and or a completely different names, but mainly to indicate the legitimacy of their royal power, they used a different name. Attached is a restored picture of Rusa Argistor II still found in Basta. On 26 September 2024, 20, a peace conference was held in Exxon province dedicated to the past and present issues of the Armenian nation. The event will open with the conference entitled What is the Future of the Armenian Nation? where the most important historical and contemporary issues will be discussed. During the years 1894-1923, the Armenians of Western Armenia fell victim to the genocide carried out by three successive Turkish governments. These terrible events will be discussed by many speakers, including the historian Vincent Duclerc, who authored the book Armenia Endless Genocide and the Decay of the World. In his book, the historian addresses the importance of solving the Armenian question and the continuing influence of the genocide on Armenian nation. Armenologists and historians are also invited to the event who will contribute to the discussions highlighting the genocide committed against Armenians in Artsakh, carried out by Azerbaijan in 2023. The conference will be hosted by Senator Brigitte Deveza and Vartan Simonian. Among the speakers will be President Armena Gabrahamian, the President of the National Council of Western Armenia and the Permanent Representative of the Assembly of Armenia of Western Armenia at the United Nations. They will discuss the future of the generations of genocide survivors and the entire Armenian nation in the context of new challenges. The conference will take place at the La Manufacture Amphitheatre. The event will open with a music concert at 18 o'clock and the conference will start at 19. Address 10 Rue de Holometis 13100, XN Province. This event is an important platform for achieving peace and justice, as well as commemorating the ongoing struggle of the Armenian people and discussing future issues. This was all for today. Goodbye.